everyone. I am April Fruits. I have the website thefabulousmrsfruits.com. I am back again to show you a little 30 minute thrift haul from Goodwill. Um, so I literally had like 20 really minutes to go to Goodwill, but I spent about 30 minutes in Goodwill. So 10 minutes over. If you know and go thrifting, you know what I mean. You just have to keep hunting once you get in your groove. Um, but I did find some goods and I'd like to share kind of what I found. So 30 minutes in Goodwill, if you don't have a lot of time, which I didn't, I usually go to my favorite spot. So it's my favorite Goodwill that I like to go to. And I hit kind of these key areas um, that I know usually have really good finds that I can pick out really fast. Um, and I also kind of go in thinking like, hmm, what do I want? Is there anything on my like to get list? And so um, I wanted to look at handbags because um, I knew that would be a quick stop. And then I wanted to look at shoes because I've been really wanting some square toed shoes here lately. Um, and I haven't had much luck, so I was really hoping. Um, also, I've been really wanting slingbacks um, that I love. I just love that look. So um, I wanted to look at that. And then I also wanted to look at belts. I have a huge collection of like funky, fashionable, vintage belts. I just really feel very inspired when I look at belts and I think like, oh my gosh, my outfit is complete now with like the perfect belt. Um, so I wanted to look at those and then I perused a little bit of the dresses and then some pants, but I couldn't really get in and dig in in 30 minutes. So I just hit the, hit the basics, hit the good spots. Um, and this is some of the things that I found. Okay. So the first thing I saw when I walked over to the purses was this huge little luggage bag. These were like back in the day, not my day, but like the sixties, I guess, I think. It doesn't have a date on it, and I want to say it's the 60s, but it could have been the 70s as well, um, or earlier than that. But this one, I think, is a um, a fairly later later version. Um, it's from the brand Samsonite, so they're still around. They're still known for really good quality luggage. Um, and then I found this just hanging on the rack, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And they were having their big tag sale um, on their green tag stuff, so this was $5, so naturally... I had to get it. Um, I do actually travel a lot and I love a good crossbody. Um, and I love just throwing everything in the kitchen sink in my bag when I travel. So um, this is just a good extra travel bag if I needed an extra thing to throw over my shoulder and run through the airports to catch my flights. Um, so great option here. And it's Samsonite and it's actually in crazy good condition. Like it's a pretty clean interior. Um, and it didn't really smell bad either, which is a plus. So Samsonite for the win. So the other handbag that I saw, um, and I could not believe that I found this was because usually they're already scooped up, um, by people that get there earlier than me was an authentic coach bag. Um, so this one was actually, it's, it's a reddish pinkish color. And so you can see the coach label here, coach label there coach label there so it's all real all the all the um, coach labels everywhere that they should be um, and uh, the lining is pretty clean there's a few stains in there you can't really see but there is a few stains but um, but yeah it's in great condition and then the leather is a little marked up but again not too bad and I think with just a little bit of leather polish like some of these scuff marks are gonna come out um, but it's like the softest leather and the best quality and I'm, I just died. I love a good coach bag. <laughs> and I love it when it's at the thrift store and not regular price. So I think I got this for about, um, let's see, $14. So nice work, I'd say. Yes. Um, okay, so that was my purse find. Usually near the purses is the belts. And I didn't really find that great of belts. Um, but I have been wanting just a really nice, thick, oversized brown belt. And so I found this little thing for 99 cents. So you can really get in there, cinch that waist up, make it look cute, wear it with a cute little dress. Um, but yeah, I liked this. It's more of a like woven pleather. It's not real leather. Um, but yeah, great, great little belt. Nice, nice and thick. And then, so the last thing was, I did find some square-toed slingback shoes. 
So I originally just said sling backs and square toes, but then I found them all in this one thing. So I thought these were really great. They're a chocolate brown, so they actually go quite well with the belt. Um, they were like $3 and some change. Um, and they do have a little bit of scuffs here and there, but overall, great condition in the leather. Um, I can easily, easily clean these up, tidy them up, and have them ready to wear uh, for, I don't know, whatever I want. Um, but the, the heel's not too high either, which is, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I freaking loved these. I couldn't believe I found them, and they were in my size. Um, so yeah, that's it. So here's all of my fun finds from 30 minutes in the Goodwill, and I am really happy about it. <laughs>